Okay, so you guys know that I participated or I attended the um, expo that they had here in um, Duluth, Georgia um, two weekends ago. And I had the pleasure of meeting um, Taniqua at Teeny Tiny Crafts. And we stopped at the Tattered Angels booth. And she ordered, well, she bought the um, Timeless Romance stamp set. And I just had to go out and buy it. I don't know what it is about seeing someone else buying scrapbooking products, but it does something to all of us, and it makes us want it. So I went out and bought it, and these are the stamps that it comes with, and you can probably see them better here. But um, this was the stamp that Regina on... YouTube did um, her postcards with and that's Regina at all things pretty too but I just had to get it and I also love how it has um, stamps for Valentine's Day right now I really don't have a significant other in my life so Valentine's Day is mute to me but I also went to um Michaels and I picked up a couple of paper pads and this is the paper stash lost and found by Tim Holtz I really like these papers and I'm sure most of all of you have seen them on YouTube and I also picked up this stack which is the um, Live Stories 12 inch craft card stock paper pad. And it's a bunch of paper, craft paper. I think, I don't think any of them are glittered or have any extra texture, but the paper is really thick brown right up my alley and I was glad to get this one it's the the garden vignettes by Karina Gardner and I really like this paper pad I saw uh, Gina at Scrapanology did a video yesterday that she had picked up well I think the day before yesterday she had did a video where she picked up this paper stack and like her, this is the only black and white paper stack that I have. And I really like that one. And I also picked up the designer blue jean stack. Now, I'm constantly in jeans every single day. If I, I mean, not every single day, but mostly what I wear is jeans. No matter where I go, except when I'm at work, I wear a uniform. And I also picked up these by K and Company. It is the Halloween Adhesive Borders by Tim Coffee. Halloween is coming up and I can't wait. I did some Halloween, I mean I took some Halloween pictures last year and I took uh, my kids to the pumpkin patch last year. It was the first time for them going. And I, I picked up two stacks, I mean two of those. And that's basically it. Alright you guys, thanks for watching. Bye.